on. You wanna get initiated? Then let me put you on this West Coast shit. Affiliated. You wanna get initiated? Then let me put you on this West Coast shit. Affiliated. You wanna get initiated? Then let me put you on this West Coast shit. Affiliated. You wanna get initiated? Then let me put you on this West Coast shit. I'm Kate Cal now reporting live from the West with a Kate Cal nine ready to rip a chest. Murder ones on my right, my blue rag to my left. You couldn't walk in my shoe, my blue chucks tied to death. I'm higher than a motherfucker sipping yak, smoking. You can see it in my eyes. I ain't slipping 'cause I'm focused. Blue rag around my steering wheel, gripping, honey smoking. Four four like a Super Bowl, leave a dome open. And if you ain't from Oakland, you better stay calm. I know some certified convicts who look like Akon and all black gripping choppers with both palms. I can knock your dead homie name off your arm. You seen Training Day? That was my hood you saw. So make sure your goons bona fide if your hood involved. My young niggas known the ball, all them candy hogs, Fetty sipping syrup in a Chevy, panic cake the show. Affiliate. 
affiliated. You want to get initiated? Then let me put you on this. Yeah. Affiliated. You want to get initiated? Then let me put you on this. Affiliated. You want to get initiated? Then let me put you on this. Affiliated. You want to get initiated? Then let me put you on this. You wanna see cuz do what we does Come here little nigga, I'll show you what a G does First rule, you give your life a set Gang over money, nigga, gang over bitch Ink in your skin, nigga, West Coast Crip Rag in your back pocket, strap on your hip Bust if I tell you true, motherfucker pie root. If the pigs sweat you, motherfuck what they going through And when we put you on, it ain't a nice thing Welcome back, everybody, here to Irwindale Speedway. We've switched everything back up. Now we're back to the outer circuit for the second time tonight. The third of final, the third of three uh, features here tonight. The final one, of course, the winner of the first event uh, was Matthew Eddy, and the second event was uh, our own Kenny Baum Jr. So uh, as we get ready to get going here, just looking at the grid guys and uh, look who got the lucky spot up front we got the 10 of Dave Washington Randy Hedrick's gonna start second third will be Brian Coveney Matthew Eddy winner of the first feature was gonna start fourth then Kilcrease now will start fifth uh, Mitch Lennon will restart or will start sixth seventh of the 72 of Ben Nile Kenny Baum the winner of the last feature will start eighth ninth to Matt Rolf Dylan Lee will start 10th Kevin Brown will start 11th Brock Hopkins We'll roll off 12th in that 44. The 13th will be place will be the 14 of James Ross. Brian Neff will roll off 14th, 15th to Anthony Celentano. And Carl Brown will start 16th. And it looks like Mylon Lacey will uh, roll off in the 17th spot. But uh, the pace car now is starting to move. We're going to get our first of our two. Uh, pace laps here, guys, and uh, man, a uh, heavy front row now for this final feature. Yeah, I'll tell you what, uh, Amy, I'm looking at some of the notes that's being passed down there, and I'm not sure if this is uh, 
correct. Now, the pace lights are off on the Ford, but I'm seeing a thing here that says the front row of the DOL. But uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens here as the, uh, the caution lights are off, and I believe we're getting ready to take the green flag. Well, as the field comes to the start finish line here, yep, it looks like next time by we will be going green flag. The field all ready to go now. This is it. Final feature of the night uh, for this special event for the West Pro Series in the late model division. This uh, special event on 9-11 to commemorate what happened to uh, this great country of ours uh, just 12 years ago. Seems like it was yesterday, uh, but it's 12 years ago. The pace car now off on turn number three. Dave Washington is going to lead this field to the green flag here for the start of the final feature. And the green flag is in the air, and we are off and racing. It looks like Randy Hedrick got a great jump on that outside. It looks like he beat the 10 to the line. But now the battle's for second heating up as the 9 was, uh, looks like double zero is looking on the inside of the 9. But uh, hey, hanging top on that outside. And, uh, Matthew Eddy, who was the winner of the first feature, as uh, man, this is really up here as the leaders are side by side. Man, I tell you what, they're jumbling up back there in third and fourth and fifth position. But look, take a look up here at the front, side by side, so far around the last three laps. Something's got to give. Got a little bit of contact in turn four there. Randy hangs on to it, and Washington is going to lead that lap there going into turn one. That's right, Dave Washington and uh, Randy Hendrick got a little contact there. So as they were racing side by side in turns three and four, Washington now able to separate himself a bit as Brian Coveney. Things are starting to shake out a little bit here. The top six now are just about single files. Mitch Lennon now looking to the inside, trying to take that fourth spot from Matthew Eddy. Mitch Lennon looking on the inside there, taking one position at a time. Real strong coming out of two down the back stretch. He's going to secure, and now we've got a caution that's came out. Looks like the 93 car was the one uh, in that caution here as the caution's out on the speedway. James Ross was involved in the 14. Uh, so there we go, caution number one here, lap number five of this uh, uh, final event here. Dave Washington is your leader, uh, Randy Hendrick, uh, second place, and uh, Brian Coveney there holding his own in third. Uh, that restart was, man, was uh, kind of wild there, guys. The front two guys couldn't get separated side by side, and then everybody in the back behind them was just jumbled, three wide, two wide. It was uh, cars leaning sideways. It, it was a great race restart. <laughs> That's a really good restart there. And uh, I tell you, I was taking a look back here at the replay, the uh, number 93 of Kevin Brown. Looks like when he came out of turn four there, uh, you know, he may have got just a little bit loose trying to correct the car and get the car to settle back down. But James was uh, had a good run coming out of that corner there. He just probably didn't expect James to be there, and the uh, accident happened. So uh, the 93 and James Ross carrying the number, I believe, 14 there. Uh, probably going to have a little bit of damage, and uh, they'll be back out on the track. Again, just like the other two features, you cannot take tires. So you'll see these guys come down pit road. They're coming down pit road to try to get some damage, some sheet metal banged out here, try to get uh, finish this uh, event out here as we're uh, working on lap number seven here, about to complete it. Uh, working on lap number eight, of course, 40 laps again in this feature here tonight. Uh, like I said, though, a heavy front row, and uh, that's exactly how the race started out. Uh, those guys beating and banging side by side, door banging, and uh, it looked like a little bit of contact in three and four is uh, was the only separation these guys were going to have uh, at all because they were uh, the first four laps were side by side and uh, some great racing by everybody uh, as close as it was and how wild it was. Yeah, I tell you, Andy, when they was uh, that lap right before they got together, I, I watched them as they were going into turn three and four. You couldn't have put a decal in between those two cars as they went into turn three. And I got to thinking, I thought, you know, if these guys keep this up side by side, something's going to give. This is short track racing, baby. And uh, these tires are not going to stick forever. You're going to have some slipping and sliding here and there, and somebody's going to make a bad move and go into a corner. Just a little bit too tough, so, but uh, lap nine coming up, we're going to uh, take a moment of silence.
Trouble, trouble in the front. Again, the 89 gets into the 10 car there. Right coming to the start finish line, and uh, that's exactly what happened in the first uh, the first feature. And wow, uh, I guarantee that 10 car is hot under the collar right now. Uh, what a tough break. Again, leading exactly what happened in the first race. He was leading, uh, got uh, knocked into by the 89. So a tough deal right there. It's going to knock uh, Dave Washington back to the back of the field here. He's going to have a long way to go here to get back up to this thing. But uh, wow, what a, what a change of events here. Oh, I tell you what, uh, you know, after that last race, I understand there was a couple of pit crews down there throwing some wrenches and towels and uh, a lot of commotion going on down there, Andy. But I tell you what, I'm looking down at the pit crew now and I still see some wrenches being thrown and it uh, looks like uh, Randy Hendricks has got a EOL penalty. But, uh, you know, all in honesty, these guys are driving behind the wheel. They're just trying to drive and win the race just like the other. Uh, I will say this, Hendrick and, and, and Washington, uh, they're definitely some wheel, wheel men, and when it comes to competitive, uh, I believe uh, those two are really competitors toward each other, so there's definitely going to be some aggression going on there and some aggressive moves on each other because one can get by the other just as easy as the other one can. And uh, they coming out of turn four there, I believe those tires got a little hot on Randy, uh, caused his car to push a little bit, and there's where our spin calls. So uh, good racing, but unfortunate your two leaders up there are back in the back of the pack, so keep your eye open for them. Absolutely. Now both of them are going to have to keep it off each other and make their way up through the field here. Is, uh, Dave Washington obviously back to the back off the spin, but uh, Randy Hedrick was given the EOL uh, for uh, causing that wreck, and uh, he's going to be back there right next to uh, Dave Washington as we're going to restart this thing here in a lap or so. Uh, working lap number 15 right now, or approaching the halfway point. Not much time to get it done here, but uh, your new leader right now, Mitch Lennon. Mitch Lennon, uh, while we were going silent there, uh, really made that outside line work around the night car, so uh, we're going to keep an eye on that uh, as this race goes on. That outside line is working, and uh, that's where you want to be to uh, get some uh, good runs coming off the corners. But Convey, that's going to be right in behind him, we're actually starting on the outside of him now. He's no joke either now. He's got enough horsepower under that hood there to get by Mitch to get the job done. But tell you what, those guys look in their mirror. They got Ben now and Matthew Eddy that's right on the hill. And uh, they don't mind putting the bumper to their bumper as well to get them out of the way. Everybody wants to win this race. And tell you, Matt Ball, he's working his way on up through there. Being very patient, just staying out of the way, kind of just... Uh, no sight, no sound, and uh, he's working his way up there. We're about to go green, Andy. We are off turn four. Here they go. Mitch Lennon gets the green flag. He's off and running. It looks like Brian Coveney kind of caught sleeping there. It's Ben Nile now looking to the inside of the nine car, trying to make that work stick for that second position. So far, so good. Is there still side by side? We have trouble on the inside. Looks like Dylan Lee and the double zero, Ben Kilcrease, kind of washing down to the inside. Uh, tell you yeah, it looks, it looks like, like a caution. caution. Yeah, there is yeah, going to be a caution. caution. came out. Ben got up underneath Dylan there when they coming out of the corner. Uh, man, tough move there. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, these guys are just trying to get up to the front as quickly as they possibly can. Hey, there's a lot of competition in this room right now and out here on the track. And, uh, you know, Andy, I tell you, it's tough when you're making those moves, working your way through the crowd there, one car at a time with a short amount of laps, and then all of a sudden you find yourself starting all over at the back of the pack again. Absolutely, and uh, we saw the replay. Just, uh, you know, as far as I'm concerned, racing incident right there, just getting a little bit loose coming off the corner, getting underneath oh, yeah. somebody, and uh, uh, just touch them. It doesn't take much here, but... Uh, uh, you know, there's a lot up for grabs in these races. The top three finishers get some really good prizes. Of course, there's random draws uh, for other places also uh, throughout this race. But, uh, man, you, top three is where you want to be in these events. And uh, so far, uh, these guys are trying to put it all out there to try to get it done. But uh, we got a couple of winners already tonight sitting fifth and sixth. It's Kenny Baum Jr. and Matthew Eddy. Is, uh, it looks like Carl Brown. Uh, his car's not really looking uh or Kevin Brown, I should say, not looking too hot there, but he gets the wave around this time by 
Uh, he's sitting, uh, it's going to be seven laps now behind the lead. Uh, but Mitch Lynn is still your leader. He's going to lead us back to the green with Coveney still there in second. But uh, watch out for that Ben Nile. He gets a pretty good jump on these restarts. Uh, he was looking on the inside of that nine car in that last one. So I expect to see the same out of him. Uh, tough competitor right there in that 72. Well, I tell you what, those guys better look in their mirror. You got Matt Rolfe has worked his way up to fourth position right now. And our last winner from the previous race we just raced a few minutes ago, Kenny Baum Jr. Now, you know, he's working his way through the uh, the crowd there. Uh, so I tell you, these guys that's running up here in front, they're going to have to keep eye on that mirror because they're not going to run away with it. So it's uh, going to be interesting, but uh, 21 laps into it. We got uh, just a little over halfway. Lots of competition here, and I'll tell you what, it's been a blast so far, Andy. Oh, it has uh, some good racing here. We're at the halfway point here at this event. 20 laps, about to be 19 laps as they uh, get ready to cross the start-finish line. Looks like the lights are going to go off on the pace car. We're going to get double filed up here. Get ready to do this thing all over again as Mitch Lennon is going to choose the outside line once again here. Uh, kind of a smart move as we were talking about. The outside line is the place to be. So, with that said, Mitch Lennon's going to lead this field back to green on the outside lane. Uh, so far, if we look back at the field there, uh, moving his way to 10th was Dave Washington, Randy Hendricks, to find a little bit of a problem there, sitting 12th. But uh, as they come through 3 and 4 now, Mitch Lennon's going to be looking for that green flag here. There it is on the turn over 4, and we are racing again here at Irwindale. Coveney, a much better start on that one. Able to hang with it. The fight now is for third between Rolf and Niall as they come off of turn number 2. They either side to side or straight to the turn three and four. Ross still on that outside. He can get a good run, but it looks like uh, Ben Niles making it work on that inside. He's going to secure that position. But Kenny Baum looking on the inside of Ross, coming out of two on the back stretch. He may get a run, going down into three. And it looks like Kenny may get in for making it underneath Ross here. Yeah, it looks like he's got a nose in there, Rolf snap. Whoa, and Niall gets oh. loose into the wall. That's going to slow up Rolf, and uh, that's going to move Kenny Baum by him, and now a chance to get by his teammate, Ben Niall, but that's not going to happen. Move Kenny Baum to fourth there, but trouble for Niall. He gets loose off the floor. Yeah, I tell you what, it looks like Rolf got some damage there for Ben Niall. I don't think it's affecting him too much. Kind of uh, jarred his teeth there a little bit. Got to come back to his senses, but uh, I think he's rolling down. He's got the 77 of uh, Anthony. Well, that's right. Look up front of just a little bit. I'm noticing the nine car really trying to make a move on the four of Mitch Lennon as they come off of turn number two, trying to stick a nose on the inside. Brian coveney has been catching them ever since the restart. Now he's getting them. He's going to be side by side with them off of four, but Mitch Lennon going to make that momentum on the high side work and for the moment stay ahead of that nine. Absolutely. He's staying up on that high side to get that good run. Now you'll see him get a good run coming off of two on the back stretch. Right in the high pitch and probably says, hey, why ain't this working on, on the bottom? He knows how it works. He knows where the line is at. He knows how to drive it. But he's going to still give him a handful to, to deal with. Absolutely. Brian Coveney eager to win here at the late model series trying to get things done and like I said a lot of prizes on the line even for first to second so uh, Coveney trying to make anything and everything he can do work here in these closing laps is next time by we're gonna have 10 laps to go so just that quickly as we started and now Coveney looking to the inside he's gonna try to make something happen here three and four dropping way low to the inside he's gonna slide up but he's gonna have to let off the throttle Mitch Lennon's gonna lead with 10 to go I think Coveney now has realized he saw where that line is at. He knows where he needs to be to get that run on him. You'll see that car slide up to the, to the wall there when they come out of turn four. That gives him just enough to get back up on Mitch's bumper there to get set up to try to make a pass. Now, if he plays his cards right here, just rides that line, Andy. He can cool those tires down a little bit. Maybe try to do a dip there coming out of two and try to take over that first place position. But I tell you, looking back here between the battle between third place, Looks like Kenny Baum is looking on the inside of Ben. They have got a race between third and fourth place positions back here. They're piling up around each other, trying to gain position. They are still side by side. Kenny Baum trying to trying to make the bottom work. Give him credit for uh, making it work as much as he has. Being able to stay up, caution on the speedway. We have some trouble. 
As uh, we got seven to go here this time as they cross the line right now, but caution is out. Uh, we will have a little sprint here to the finish. Yeah, I believe uh, from this point on, uh, Andy, they will probably go green even if another caution goes out. So after they get this settled up and uh, get the cars lined up to take the green flag, it's probably going to be the last time we see a caution uh, come out here or actually a caution serve. So uh, it's going to probably be uh, all, uh, I guess the only term I can use is balls to the walls to the end. <laughs> yeah, there you go. F pedal to the floor, and uh, let's see what happens. But yeah, definitely, it's just gonna. This is gonna be it for the end here. So uh, setting up a nice little shootout we're gonna have on our hands here is uh, working lap number 35, uh, coming near to the end of this thing here. But a great battle. Uh, the nine car was really sticking to that bumper. The four trying everything he could to either make a get him to make a mistake or something. But uh, seasoned veteran that Mitch is, you know he's not gonna just make a mistake. You're gonna have to. Uh, will him into making that mistake. Well, let's see if we can get Mitch in here right quick. We got enough time? Yeah, we'll see if we can pull up the driver. Hey, Mitch Lennon, this is Rick Donathan up in the booth. We got a cop. Yep. All right, buddy, you coming down uh, just a few laps here left in the race. How are you feeling up there leading, this, leading the race? Well, pretty good. Uh, the high lane here works pretty well for me. Uh, it's hard to pass on the bottom here. Uh, you can throw it in there and get alongside somebody, but getting the run off is pretty hard. Well, fantastic. We uh, up here in the booth wish you luck and uh, keep your eye on that guy behind you in the mirror. He's running pretty strong with you. Yep, 10 4. Thanks. All right. All right, that was Mitch Lennon there we got, but I tell you, have we got enough time? Where is Brian Coveney? Is he? Did we have enough time for him, Andy? Uh, yeah, it looks like we got another lap. Let's bring him up here. All right. Brian Coveney, Rick Donathan, and Andy Kessler up in the booth. Have you got a copy? Yeah, I got you, man. Hey, I tell you what, you're looking good, looking strong out there. Not able to make that pass on the bottom side. What do you got for Mitch? Uh, either dump him or come in second, so I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Okay. Well, just remember, you're on live TV right now, so uh, uh, I'm sure there's going to be some penalties given out if you do decide to dump him since you made that aware. But uh, anyway... We hope you do it clean, and we hope you do it fair, but we wish you the best of luck. Looks like you got enough horsepower to do it. All right, thanks, man. All right. I tell you what, Andy, at least the good thing about it is the man tells the truth. Hey, hey he's honest. Know, hey, that's right, he's honest. I've either got to dump him or I'm going to finish second. Right here is his opportunity. He's on the inside. He's going to have to take it. He's going to make a good right here. Mitch, That's right. Taking the lead. The green flag is out. Yep, green flag is out. Michelin, a great jump on that side. It's a 51 car now. Looks to the inside. Trent almost going to make it three wide there. Diving way to the bottom, but that's not going to work. He's going to fall back now. A couple spots is now coming. He's still going to sit in second right now as they come off of turn number four to get the white flag. That is followed by a white flag for Mitch Lennon. Now the battle's for third as uh, Brian, or excuse me, not Brian, uh, Ben Nile, and uh, as we got oh, trouble behind those guys, a big wreck. Big wreck, but now they're coming around to take the checkered flag. Here they come off of turn number four. Looks like Company gets in the wall just a little bit, but he's going to secure second place. Wow. Mitch Lennon's going to win it here at Irwindale, the final feature. Win it, win it, just win it. That's right, Brian Company finishes second place. Third goes to Ben now. Fourth place going to Kenny Baum. Fifth belonging to Matt Rolfe. And sixth place, Anthony Celepino. And seventh, James Rolfe. Finishing eighth, the number 10 of Dave Washington. Ninth belongs to the 88 of Matthew Eddy. And that's going to bring out the top zero in the Greeks. What, son, that's what you call some action there. Give it up for you. Oh, it's definitely some action. Big wreck in the back. It's just everybody trying to go for it. Like I said, a lot of a lot of prizes on the line, and uh, you know you gotta you gotta go for it. There, otherwise uh, you didn't try. So uh, a lot of credit to all these guys. A great race all around. Uh, great feature all all around all night long. These guys did a heck of a job, and uh, man, I, I just it was a, it was a great night. A great night all around. I was excited about it. I'm glad we were able to broadcast this and bring this to everybody. Uh, a lot of fun here at Irwindale, and uh, these guys, all of them, did a great job all race long. Absolutely, and I believe these guys. Uh, 
you know, once the uh, once the tempers settle down and everything uh, just becomes, uh, you know, just one of those races and and put it in the book. I believe these guys had a heck of a time here this evening uh, trying to do what they can to, to lead a few laps and to uh, dominate a little bit. We saw a lot of uh, hard racing out there. We saw some accidents happen, of course. Uh, accidents are going to happen in racing, but uh, the main thing is lots of competition, and uh, it definitely put on a show here for us today. That it did. We're going to take a second here, see if we can not catch up with our winner and second and third place finisher here. And even possibly the series admin, Ben Kilcree, see if we can not get a ruling on exactly who won what and what we got going on here. So we'll do all that in a moment. Let's uh, see if we can not uh, start catching up with some of these drivers here on pit road. He's got music playing, but uh, we need Mitch, Brian, and Ben Nile. I tell you what, lots of action here today at Irwindale Speedway, and uh, I'm running down here toward Pitt Road and uh, called up. It looks like Brian Coney and Ben now just discussing the race there toward the end. I'm going to talk to the third place finisher. I believe is going to be Ben now. Ben, tell us about that last lap there on third for that third place finish. Uh, it was completely and utterly fun between me, Ken, and uh, Matt Rolf there. I couldn't ask for a better finish. Absolutely. I tell you what, you guys were running pretty tight there. Rolf wasn't, he was trying to make that bottom end work, but it just seems like it wouldn't work. You guys were staying on the top side and getting the speed coming off the corners. But, uh, Tate, did you have anything for Brian? About midway through the race, uh, the number 72, Nile Login Camaro, bounced off the wall, and we were a little bit too loose off the corner. So, if that hadn't happened, I might have had a shot for both him and Mitch, but... Tough saying, not knowing. Hey, I tell you what, you did a good job out there, even though you did have damage out there to your car. The main thing is, did you have fun here today? Who couldn't have had fun out here? Representing West Pro out here, representing all that 9-11 has stood for in the past 12 years, everything. How could I not have fun? Especially with KBR having some of the best average out of all the guys here this weekend. <laughs> Absolutely. I tell you, is there anybody out there you want to thank, Ben? Absolutely. Kenny Baum, Nile Login, Kenny Baum Racing, Nile Designs, Dogfunk.com, Competition Diecast, and all of you here at Noble Network One. Absolutely. I tell you what, that's from your third place finisher, Ben Nile, here today, finishing third with a strong third. And uh, we're going to take it over here. I got to take like two steps and uh, get over here with Mr. Brian Covening. Uh, now, Brian, I tell you, I got to talk to you a little bit while you were in car, and uh, did you have a little time to think about what you said? Ah, uh, just, you know, and starts just threw me up a little bit. I just didn't have enough time at the end, you know. Uh, I was just <laughs> giving, giving way too much respect to Mitch in those uh, closing laps. Well, I tell you what, you definitely gave us something to talk about up here, and I tell you, probably the viewers kept their eyes on you, so if you wanted that attention, I'm sure you just got it. Ran a great race out there, and I uh, tell you, you was looking very good, looking real strong. You had two guys there trying to catch you. One was about to because he was taking that high side. Rolf down on the low side, he was trying to make it work, but uh, he just didn't have the speed coming off the corners. A few more laps later, could you have got it done? Could you have caught Mitch? Uh, 
I don't know. Them guys behind me were pretty fast, and Mitch was pretty fast, so it would have been a tight battle for sure. I tell you what, you drove a good race out there, and uh, I tell you, you still, you, you definitely still had a winning car. Uh, just wasn't able to pull it off. Mitch may have just a, had a little bit more of an edge on you. He stayed on the high side most of the race, probably saved some tires. Anybody out there you want to thank, Brian? Uh, I'd like to thank you guys for broadcasting this race tonight. Uh, ben, for hosting these races and uh, uh, all the women and men fighting for us over there overseas. Absolutely. I tell you what, that's straight from your second place finisher here today. Brian Coveney drove an outstanding race. Just fell a few laps, just a, just a few laps short. And uh, who knows, he may have been able to rub some doors with Mitch or not. Don't know. But I tell you what, we'll find out. I'm going to throw the mic uh, over to Andy. I believe he's caught up with the first place finisher drinking some champagne in victory lane. Andy? That's right. I'm down here with Mitch Lennon. We talked to him just, uh, I don't know, it seems about a half an hour ago, Mitch, and there you were, your second place finish in the inner feature, the inner track here at Irwindale, and now we're here in victory lane, and you got yourself a big win. Yeah, it was a good race, good clean race for me. Uh, two leaders out in front of me got together, and I snuck right on by and uh, held them off from there, and I was expecting, you know, the short track racing uh, little nudge from the uh, guy running behind me, but... Uh, he never did it, so here I am. Yeah, there you are. He said he uh, wasn't sure if he had anything for you. You were kind of running that line that uh, everybody found was fast all night long. Uh, uh, we did talk to him before uh, went back green, and he said, I'd be either going to have to dump him or finish second. So apparently he finished second and didn't dump you. So congratulations on the win. Anybody uh, you'd like to thank here? Everybody at West Pro for putting these series on. They're a blast. Uh, all the drivers that uh, raced me clean tonight. Um, it's pretty good racing all night for me. Uh, second race there, I got in the, involved a little bit early on because I started in the back, but uh, it was all good. It was all good. You find yourself with a second and a first place finish here tonight. Uh, the best out of everybody as far as average is concerned. Uh, congratulations to you, Mitch, and uh, uh, good luck uh, the rest of the way this season, and uh, good luck tomorrow night, obviously, in the uh, Noble Cup Series. All right. Thanks. All right, that's Mitch Lennon, your winner here tonight in the third and final feature. Uh, great job by all these guys, and I'm just excited for all this. And uh, we're going to see if we can not uh, catch up with uh, Ben Kilcrease, the uh, series admin here, and uh, the guy who put all this together, which we all enjoyed. And uh, uh, here he is right over here. Ben, ben uh, congratulations. I think overall this whole thing was a great success. I'm running around like a chicken <laughs> with my head cut off. I'm just ready to go to bed. No, uh, it was all right. I didn't do good, but um, I was glad that everybody enjoyed it. Um, had a little controversy with the qualifying, but that was pretty much set in stone. But other than that, I think it ran well. Sent home some butt kickers and uh, about to do the random drawings right now. The drivers will be notified about that uh, via PM on the iRacing service. So. All in all, though, it went pretty good. It was the races weren't caution field, didn't have crashes left and right, had some pretty good clean racing and some pretty good finishes, and uh, hopefully it was pretty good from the broadcast booth. Well, it definitely was exciting for all of us up here. Uh, uh, speaking of all that giving away butt kickers, uh, I was just wondering uh, if you had a, a rundown of everything uh, for our viewers out there, exactly uh, what happened as far as the uh, top three finishers uh, for each of these events. Yes, I do. Give me about three seconds here. I'll tell you who is going home with the butt kicker. Uh, Randy Hedrick, Matthew Eddy, and Mitch Lennon going home with the uh, butt Hang on. Messed up there. Sorry to throw you on the spot here, Ben. Yeah, no, 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 to... not a problem at all. I'm just uh, working on getting everything sorted up. I know Mitch Lennon is going home with one. I do know that much. Um, I would imagine Kenny Baum Jr. Yep, and Kenny then, Baum Jr. And then uh, Matthew Eddy. Yep, yep, for the Matthew winners. Eddie. And uh, I don't even have the results pulled up. I did have them pulled up. I was trying to get them all put in RPM. Uh, give me a sec. 
All right. Well, while he he does that, we'll run through the final <laughs> the final order here for uh, the final feature here, the third event uh, of the night. Uh, Mitch Lennon, of course, coming across with the win. Uh, pro, like I said, probably the best average finish of all the drivers, uh, finishing second in the middle feature, and then uh, coming home with a win here in the final one. Brian Coveney will finish second, third place to uh, 72 of Ben Nile. Kenny Baum Jr. will finish fourth. He was the winner of the second feature. Uh, Matt Rolf. Great run for him in this final one, uh, finishing fifth. Anthony Celentano, who also had a start started in the back back in uh, 15th, actually, in this uh, feature, and he comes home to finish sixth. James Ross will finish seventh. Dave Washington, after that uh, spin there while he was leading, uh, battles his way back up to an eighth-place finish. Uh, Matthew Eddy, the winner of the first feature, he will come home ninth. Ben Kilcrease will round out the top ten in this final feature. Coming home 11th was Dylan Lee, 12th was Randy Hedrick, 13th was Brian Neff, Carl Brown will finish 14th, Brock Hopkins will finish 15th, 16th, give that to Kevin Brown. Now, Matt and uh, Rick, uh, overall, I think a great event. I think uh, uh, it was one for, uh, you know, what it was for and uh, to support what uh, we feel is right and the troops and, and, and everything. And I, uh, I feel that uh, the whole thing, everybody having some fun, some good, clean, short track racing. I just think it was all, all in all a perfect night. I definitely agree. Andy. it was a uh, wonderful event put on here at the West pro series. Uh, once again, thanks to all the great sponsors that came out to support this event. Uh, but more importantly, it's not about the racing. It's not about the drivers. It's not about the teams. It's about what it's here for. Uh, not only the troops that are serving, the ones that have served, but also the number of victims, not only from the tragic events of September 11, 2001, but all the troops that have been lost since the since that day. I tell Absol you what, absolutely. Uh, what the wonderful thing about this is uh, the race today. I'm sure a lot of these drivers came in, and you know they they may have their heads held down a little little low because they may not have finished the best or may have wrecked out or something. But I tell you, the most positive thing to look at is is every one of them that participated today can walk away as a winner because these guys race for a reason today and for a good reason. And as far as I'm concerned, every single one of them are winners in my book. So uh, I appreciate their participation. Appreciate West Pro Series uh, put, pr promoting this and, and putting this out there and getting the drivers involved. So uh, with that said, uh, I, I want to thank each and every one of them and uh, wish the very best of all the people that we just raced for tonight. And uh, hopefully uh, good times coming in their life. Um, um, for the unfortunate loss that they've had. Absolutely, and uh, I guess I'm getting word. Uh, uh, I can't say much more than that, but I'm getting word here, Ben. Uh, I think you uh, got everything in order now. <laughs> yeah, I got as far as the podium <laughs> positions go. That's, no, that's we all we need. <laughs> haven't done the random drawings yet, all right? I, I think his bells are still ringing from that wreck he had <laughs> earlier. So. <laughs> I, I, I could have sworn I seen one? him I there a little few earlier, of them. Andy, when he came into the pits at the end of the race, and looked like his helmet was on kind of sideways and crooked, <laughs> but uh, uh, he may be coming around. <laughs> Knock the crown off my tooth and everything. Yeah, we'll get him screwed on straight here. Kind of right, 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 reminded me of the days of Jimmy Spencer. <laughs> Jeez. Matthew Eddie, Kenny Baum Jr. and Mitch Lennon will each get their choice of a game uh, a butt kicker gamer two, butt kicker gamer two play seat edition or a butt kicker simulation kit because they were the winners of the uh each feature. And this is all unofficial as of right now. Mitch Lennon will get a twenty five dollar coupon to Sim Seats for finishing second in the first feature, finishing second in the second feature is Dave Washington. He'll get a $50 coupon to Sim Seats. Finishing second in the third feature is Brian Coven, and he'll get a $75 coupon to Sim Seats. Ben Nile, Randy Hedrick, and Kenny Baum Jr. will each get a West Pro Series late model division bumper sticker from uh, BK Graphic. Uh, for finishing third, and like I said, random drawing will be done. We'll probably post that up on the West Pro Series Facebook tomorrow once it's done. And also the points will be updated tomorrow uh, because they're 
disappointed to be a little pain in the you-know-what tonight. But uh, we'll get the points updated tomorrow, and we'll let you know who won the random drawing. Ben, you awesome, would know ben. all about that pain in the you-know-what. <laughs> Very nice. All right, let's not go there. We're uh, live here on here, but uh, no, great job on all this. Uh, ben, uh, congratulations. I think it was a success. Maybe your uh, finishes for yourself weren't that great, but I think overall... Uh, the whole plan, the whole idea of the whole thing was uh, excellent, spot on. A lot of participation uh, from Butt Kicker and BK Graphics and uh, Simsy, and just from everybody all around, guys at West Pro. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, everybody helps us out with the network too. So, um, overall, a great night, and I'm excited about it, and uh, I think it was a, a, a real big success. Yeah, and I want to go back to what Rick touched based on. Everybody. Now, even though you didn't win a prize, the prizes were there. Yeah, but even if you didn't, you're still a winner. And I want to thank everybody for coming out and racing in this. Even if you didn't make the event, I want to thank you for attending and watching. And uh, I talked in the driver's meeting why the password was standing, and that's because our nation is standing strong today, 12 years after that tragic day in New York City and around the country. And uh, we're still standing strong, and we will continue to stand strong and uh, I made sure that everybody remembered those and uh, thought about those that are out there serving right now so that we can sit on our computers and play every night and uh, be free the way we are. Absolutely well said all you guys have uh, put it off well said so uh, with that said I'm gonna be uh, I'm out of here so uh, I want to thank uh, West Pro Series. I want to thank all our all the sponsors that got involved here. Uh, I want to thank uh, the network, everyone at the network for helping out. I want to thank Matt for uh, producing. I want to thank uh, you, Rick, for stopping in up in the booth here with us, uh, knock some rust off, and uh, just uh, thank everybody for involved and uh, wish well wishes upon everybody that was involved on in that tragic day 12 years ago. Uh, with that said, I'm Andy Kessler for Matt Weisbro and Rick Donovan. Uh, you've been watching the West Pro Series Late Model Division right here on Noble Network 1.